Hi friends, I have another craft for you today. We are gonna do Bible art. And it looks something like this. But uh, you don't have to do it in your Bible if you don't want to. Or um, I like to write in my Bible. Um, so you'll see all kinds of scribbling in there. But some people don't want to do that. You can um, have a separate Bible. You know, one that you buy at a thrift store or something, if you want to use that. Or a cookbook. I thought I've got some favorite recipes of my mom's. And um, I wanted to, it's just a regular produced uh, cookbook. But she used to make them all the time. So I wanted to do this with um, her picture over some of the favorite recipes of hers. Or if you've got a favorite book, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to use the Bible. And so you need some pictures. And... Uh, you can use just regular pictures that you have at home. If it's not the slicky paper, if it's the slick paper, it won't work. Um, or if you have a printer at home, you can print off a picture. Like this is one of my dogs. Um, that's a great one, just regular piece of paper. Um, you can do just images like this is packages. I want to use that in here um, where the three wise men brought the gifts. So I thought that would be cool. Or if you have an old newspaper and you have a picture in there, and that's an old picture of me a long time ago. And so, you know, if you're one of those people who keep a whole bunch of, of copies of the newspaper article, if you're in there, then you can use that. That's great paper to use. What you can't use is the magazine sheet itself. I'm putting a cross in. I had to make a photocopy of it because the slick paper won't work. I tried that. It doesn't work. So you can't use that. So that's what we'll need. We'll need a book, whatever book you're gonna use, color pencils, uh, regular pencils. You might want a highlighter. Uh, need some tape. And I think that's about it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is uh, figure out what picture you wanna put on what book. So I have this scripture that I wanna use. And I'm, like I mentioned, I'm gonna do this fancy cross. And so, um, that's what I'm going to do. But you need to uh, blacken the back of your picture. So here's one that I started already. Um, it's the presents I was talking about. And so you need something firm. Maybe an old cutting board. Something with a smooth edge. Um, a table. But you know the ones that have texture on it. It's not going to work well for you. You need something solid and smooth. So then you just grab your paper and you start Shading the back. Shade, shade, shade the back. And you want to go in all directions. So you start in one direction and finish that and spin it and do the next direction. And the idea is to get as much of the lead off of your pencil um, onto the paper and as black as you can. So just like this. But that's not black enough. This is my cross I'm going to use. And to save time, I already blackened it. And you can test it. So if you have a uh, scrap piece of paper, you can just uh, place it down and test and see if it's going to work. And this is how you would do it. So you pick where you want the picture to be um, in your Bible. That's what I'm using today. So I know where I want it to be. Um, and then we need to outline. So I am going to tape it onto my Bible so it doesn't slide on me. And, um, or you could just place it there. That's fine too. I'm getting the tape not as sticky so I don't rip my Bible. And we're going to place that on here. We're going to need the tape later too. So just let you know. So I'm getting some of the extra sticky off of there and placing it on. And then you just take a really sharp pencil and you outline your picture. So this picture happens to be a lace cross, but I thought it was so pretty. Found it in a magazine. And so I am just going to press down really hard and outline. So I'll show you again. Oh, I already slipped. All right, let's try this again. So you outline really good. And I showed you an example of my daughter's. Did you notice that the faces weren't on there? 
Um, I thought that was a really good idea. And actually, Paula Miller at the South Campus, she's the one that showed me how to do this. The South uh, Center, Community Center, she showed me how to do this. And I thought that was a great idea to leave the faces blank. And, um, but you could still tell, like I did this and didn't tell my daughters I was doing it. And I showed them and they knew exactly what picture it was of them. So that was neat. So like one daughter wears glasses. So I put those glasses on her, um, in the picture. But the other daughter would wear her hair up in a bun, so you could make the distinction there. So when you get your colored pencils, um, hopefully you already have some at home. That's the whole point of this, is doing crafts that you can do with stuff you already have at home. Um, anyway, you want, if you're doing people, you need to have the flesh color. And white is a good color. And I'll also show you an example. I did another one with my husband and I, with me. And um, like I mentioned earlier, I like to write in my Bible, highlight, write notes. And so where I put the girl's picture, I didn't have a whole lot of notes, but where I put my picture with my husband. There's a lot of notes. So you will see the difference um, on what that looks like. It's definitely different. So I'm doing the outside and then um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. You see all that lace on there? So uh, you can't be too detailed. You're basically just doing outlines. And so I'm thinking that I'm just going to leave the outside and just have a neat cross without all those details. So, I don't know if you can see that, but now I have an outline of the pencil, I mean with a pencil, because it came off the back. You can use this again if you want to use the same picture, uh, so that's cool. Now, I take my Pencils. And I want black and I am going to outline with this where my transfer of the pencil lead came. So some people do this as a gift for their grandkids, like that's what Paula is doing. And she's making a Bible for each one of her grandkids with special pictures. Um, and some people like me, I'm just doing it in my main study Bible. I think it's cool. I like it. But the neat thing about this is you can still read the scriptures underneath if you're not, you know, really dark. And I'm doing my outline pretty dark with the this cross so you can see what it looks like. Almost finished. But like I already have some of this scripture outlined. I mean underlined. And so I can still see that just fine. With the girls, I'll show that the picture again. Um, there's a specific scripture I had for them so that's what I used the highlighter for I just um, highlighted it so I knew which one um, I was referring to with the picture uh, you could also notate it on the um, edging of your Bible if you want so this is what it looks like when I outline it and then I am just gonna shade it in um, and just pick a color. I think I'm just gonna use blue. So I am going to shade in, color in. So this one is super easy. 
I only have one color basically that I'm using. But like with the example of the girls, they both had, they happen to have red shirts on, but two different tones. So I picked two different colors of uh, red in the color pencils. So you know, this paper is really thin in a Bible. So you just wanna be careful not to press down too hard. You don't wanna rip your Bible. But if you're doing like a uh, cookbook or something, it's going to be thicker, so it won't be an issue. That would be a great gift, too, if you wanted to make a cookbook for your family, you know, to pass down, and you have pictures, like, say, Bobby Joe loves your mac and cheese, or um, Kevin loves your chocolate cake, you know, things like that. You could put their names or something significant to them. over their favorite recipe. So there it is. And I am not going to highlight because it's this whole section that I'm referring to. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. But, where were the girls so I lose that page? See like with them, they've got some highlight down there. So that's what it'll look like. So here's the trick. Uh, oh, and I also wrote their scripture over there on the side. But here's the trick. You don't want it to get on my other pages, right? That's what the tape's for. So just regular scotch tape. You just cut off strips and lay it over your artwork. So that's going to protect what you just transferred and have it not go on the other page when you shut your Bible or your whatever book you're using. So, it's pretty simple. Fun to do. What's neat is just collecting your pictures. You know, you may just be looking through your pictures and think, oh, that'd be a great one um, to put in my Bible or my... Um, cookbook. And you can just collect them and keep them going. So then, this is what it looks like when we're finished. A real simple one. I got the tape on there. It's all protected. Here's an example of one that I did um, with me and my husband. See? Doesn't that look just like me? So this is what it already had highlights in here. I already got a lot of notes in this section. So it's not quite as clear as the cross or as the one I did with the girls, but I can still read everything in there and it's still good to go. So that's it. Easy Bible artwork. All right, we're done for today. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.